sure your vehicle is up to that road trip. And the perfect person to ask is Lauren Fix, the car coach. Uh, Lauren, thanks so much for taking the time to speak with us. First off, what's the number one thing people need to do, or what's the biggest mistake that people make when planning or not planning for the heat? Well, I think the number one thing is you forget the impact of the heat and the hot roadways on your tires. So you should check your tire pressure once a month. So July 1st is just around the corner. Put in your calendar the first of every month. Check your tire pressure against the number inside your driver's door. You can get a digital tire pressure gauge. And the greatest thing is it'll save you money on fuel, better handling, better performance, and longer life out of your tires. So that's like all around good, good reason to do it. And it costs nothing. Which is nice. So, you know, speaking of tires, I was just thinking yesterday, did you know they actually closed down parts of the Audubon in Germany because the temperatures were so hot that they were worried about road damage? What does that heat do to the surface of your tires? Can that wear it down faster? Oh, it can wear the tire. Sure, absolutely. You're right. It'll wear the tire down prematurely, cause blowouts. And the Audubon's a little different, they don't have speed limits. So, because of that, you're talking about heat because every time a tire rubs against the roadway, you're causing what's called frictional heat. And if you add the heat of the sun baking down on the asphalt, that can cause potential blowouts at high speed. So, that's why they've done that, or they can control the speed limits. Here in the U.S., we don't have speed limits that are unlimited, which is probably a good thing based on our road conditions. But you do need to know that if it rains and it's been really warm, all that water is going to cause all those oils to reach the surface. And that hot water and hot liquids that come up can cause blowouts and all kinds of tire damage. So make sure to keep your eyes on the road. Really, really important. What about while you are on the road? Uh, what are some of the things that you should have in your vehicle to help keep you safe? Well, your standard emergency kit should have a set of jumper cables. If you don't know you're, what you're doing, get a jump box. If you don't know how to change a flat tire, get a tire inflation product. You can get a kit with a compressor. First aid kit. I always believe you should add duct tape and zip ties. You can fix almost anything if you duck it or zip it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> like duct tape that. does everything, right? And real quickly, you know, yes, people will travel for hours, for example, to say get to the beach. And then as you're trying to get on that one little skinny road to get to your destination, you can get yeah. stuck in bumper to bumper for what feels like ever. What can you do to prevent yes. your car from overheating? Well, hopefully you've checked this before you left. Is you have your coolant checked. Now, a lot of people have long life coolant, especially in newer cars. But if you haven't had it checked in at least two years, find an ASE certified technician to look at it before you go. They can do a complete check over of your vehicle and let you know, hey, you have a brake problem. This needs to be fixed before you go, or one of the nine fluids in your car could be low and they could need to be topped up. All right, Lauren Fix, the car coach. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it and keep cool. Mm -hmm. Yes, you too.